the program director here at River 949 in Ipswich. Uh, I program the radio station, so look after all the on-air guys, uh, choose the, the music that we play on the air, the styles of promotions that we run, uh, the way we interact with our listeners. So day to day, whatever you hear, go up the stick on 94.9 FM, up our transmitter, and also out via uh, our online uh, con content, our multimedia content, uh, I'm the one looking after that. We tend to program radio stations based on um, hoping that what we're doing as a whole, as the mix appeals to a certain target audience and a, and a large group of them, ideally. Uh, particularly in commercial radio, we're trying to appeal to the biggest number of people in our chosen target demographic at any time. So it's sort of based on a bit of guesswork, a bit of, uh, bit of research in the first place, uh, history of knowing what works and what doesn't work. It's a bit of a magic melting pot. When we get electronic people metering uh, for radio, I think we're going to completely adjust uh, the way we program radio stations because we'll know exactly what does and doesn't work minute by minute. And I'm not sure that that's going to be a good thing. I think it's inevitable that we will move to uh, some kind of electronic people uh, meter measurement system and away from the old traditional diary measurement. Um, but I think it's probably a long way away. There's been some trials in the US and there's also been some trials in, in Europe and it's proven to be problematic, mainly because What's actually radio listening? If you walk into a shop, for instance, that's got the radio on, uh, the people meter will pick up uh, that audio, it'll pick up that radio station and it will tell the measurement company that you were listening to that radio station at the time. But if you're going into a shop and the radio's on in the background, are you really listening to the radio? I think this is where they've got the problem. They can't quite work out what is actual listening and what isn't listening. And I think the other downside too of, of electronic measurement will be that we'll change the way we program radio stations. Just like television changed the way they program TV stations. They're far more ruthless now. They've got daily numbers that come out every morning. If a show hasn't worked the night before, that hasn't reached that magic million viewers mark nationwide, uh, chances are it won't last more than one or, or two weeks. And we see that all the time on all of the commercial television networks. I think the same thing will happen with radio, with electronic people meters. I think what we'll see is far less risk taking, far less loyalty, and, and we'll see that, for instance, new songs won't be added to radio as readily as they are now because nobody will be willing to take the risk. So we'll be able to see every time we, we play a certain type of song that listeners tune out in droves. And I think that's really dangerous. I think that's a bad side for, uh, for the industry going forward. So although the diary system is, is old fashioned, it's stood us in good stead for the last 40 years and I think it will for a, a while longer yet. As we saw with Oztam in television nearly 15 years ago, we saw a huge disruption to television viewing according to, uh, according to the ratings at least. That cost the TV industry millions of dollars uh, until it all started to settle back down again. Uh, because you're essentially changing the methodology. So you're going from one style of, of measurement to a completely different style of measurement. I think the, the radio is struggling with how to work through that problem as well. There are privacy concerns too with regards to um, how we measure electronically. Um, radio is unlike television, it's not a sedentary medium. So with television, with the people meters that TV uses for their measurement, uh, it's in a room, it's attached to a television, and you dedicate who's watching at any given time and it just tracks the, the TV channels that you're watching. Um, with radio, obviously, that's far more difficult because we're moving around all the time. The, one of the great benefits of radio is its portability. So how you measure that portability uh, is, is another thing altogether. I'm not sure what the answer is.